There are certain things that you will need to start working with foundation for sites if you're using Windows and you don't have any previous experience working with foundation or SAS. First, you will need Git. This way we can clone the repo of foundation and download the latest version. And also you will need Node.js, Node.js. This way you can install foundation for sites, Gulp, and SAS and everything like that. This is the website git-scm.com and we're gonna be downloading this version 2.6.4. We're gonna be downloading the Git installer. I think this is the easiest way to have a Git in your computer. And then we're gonna download Node.js. Here we're gonna download this version, the version 5.3.0, the stable version. You can see that I have already downloaded the files, so I'm going to install git first. So I'm going to click here, click on execute, yes, and we're going to start installing git in our computer. First, we're going to click here on next, next again, and this is where git is going to be installed. So we're going to click next, and I'm going to add the additional icons. So we click next, next again, and here we're going to change the second version. We're going to be using use git for the Windows command prompt. Then we click on next. Here I'm going to select the second option. I think the first one is fine, the Windows style. So click on next. Here we're going to be using the second option. Next, and this is fine. So we're going to next. And this is going to install Git in our computer. This way we can clone the Git or well, well the foundation for sites repo. So we can download the latest version. And then we can download also foundation for sites using the foundation CLI that we're going to install in this video. I'm going to click on finish. And I'm going to open the Windows command prompt and here I'm going to type git dash dash version. And you can see that the version for this is git version 2.6.4, the same version that we have downloaded right here. So git is installed and I'm going to install now Node.js and I'm going to open the Node installer, click on execute, next, and I'm going to save the terms accept and click next click next here here you have to make sure that you have add to path already select so click on next and install the software this is may take a while so let's wait until it finishes so you can see that the node installer has finished i'm gonna click here on finish and we're gonna open then we're gonna open the command prompt in windows and I'm going to type not dash b and you can see this is the version 5.3.0 when you install node.js it comes with npm so you can type npm b and this is the node package manager this is how you add more software to your node installation and this is how we're going to install SAS Gulp Foundation for Sites in order to make this work. So let's install Foundation for Sites. I'm going to add npm install. And we're going to have a flag global so we can install this in all the users. And finally, the name of the package Foundation CLI. So let's click on enter. And this may take a while, so let's wait until it's finished. You can see that the foundation for sites has been installed. You have to get an output like this one, a really big list with a lot of indentation. If you have a small list, like only two or three items, you have to uh, type again the command. I have found that you have to type this command like three or four times in order to have a list like this one that we have here. Once uh, you have this list with this yellow 
letters and things like that. That means that Foundation CLI has finished installing. So we are going to open desktop, cd desktop, and I'm going to type the command foundation. And you can see that we have this menu. You can see foundation has these commands, new, update, watch, build, and help. With foundation new, you can create a new project. With foundation update is how, did, how you update to the latest version of foundation. Foundation watch will compile the SAS files and foundation build will make the, the final com, well, it will prepare all the files for production so you can upload, upload your website to an FTP, to a server. So I'm gonna type foundation new. And here you can see we have three options. Foundation for sites, if you wanna develop a website. Foundation for apps, if you are developing a web app. And foundation for emails, when you are developing responsive email. In this course, we're going to be using Foundation for Sites. So let's select the first one and click Enter. Next, we have the project name. We're going to add Hotel Spa. Type Enter. And this is the template that we're going to be using. Basic template, which includes a SAS compiler and the SORP template, which includes SAS and JavaScript compilers. Also a handlebars template engine. So we're going to be using the first one called basic template because we're going to need, are going to need the, the SAS compiler. So press enter. And in this part of the process is going to install all the dependencies that we need in order to make this work. This is going to be installing SAS, Gulp, Foundation, everything like that Foundation for sites needs to work. So let's wait until it finishes. So you can see that we have this message, you are all set. That means that everything is installed correctly and our project is ready to start working. Let's open this folder, Hotel Spa. We're gonna open the index.html file. So double click here. You can see that we have this file. We have a lot of HTML, but we don't have any CSS. So you can see that it says now run foundation while watch while inside the hotel spa folder. So see, let's add cd hotel spa and then we add foundation watch. So you can see that this is gonna run the gulp task. We have the task for SAS and we have another task for default. So now that it has finished, we're gonna reload this thing. So let's reload. And now you can see we have this HTML now has a lot of CSS applied. So let's open this, fo this folder in Sublime Text. And I'm going to open the SCSS folder and I'm going to open this settings SCSS. I'm going to scroll to this line 15. And I'm going to change this value to 000000. 000, 000, 000. And I'm going to open the Windows command prompt. Here you can see here at the bottom, if I save this file, you can see that this is running the SAS task. If I press command, Ctrl C and save, you can see that this task is running. So this way you can continue making changes and the SAS task that comes with this goal file is gonna be running all the time. So when you finish working, you decide that you you want to stop working, you can press Ctrl C and this will finish this, this process. And if you want to continue on the next, next date, you have to open this folder. You can have to add CD desktop, CD hotel spa or, or the name of the project. And then you add foundation watch again. And this way you are ready to continue working in the next day in your project. So now you have everything that you need to start working with Foundation in Windows.